I just don't get it. Well, that's because you got your swinging shingle shot, so you won't get it, right? <laughs> it says here that we just celebrated the 47th anniversary of Woodstock, but there's not going to be any kind of a big reunion concert. <laughs> that's because over 80% of the original artists would be unable to attend. Yeah, because of touring conflicts and other obligations. Right? <laughs> no, because they're dead. Well, so what? That hasn't stopped Elvis. And Mick Jagger's still around. He's only 73. Jagger? He would have a good excuse for not showing up. He, his casual girlfriend, a 29-year-old ballerina, Ooh. just gave birth to his eighth child. Wow. Cesarean? No, on point. <laughs> and though they don't live together, Mick uh, still allows her conjugal visits between sets. Yeah, well, little feats Lowell George certainly won't be there. He would have been... 71 this month? Wow. He died when he was 34. Oh, geez. That's just terrible. Where is he buried? Well, they never interred him. Why not? He had so much cocaine in his body, they just sold his ashes for $200 <laughs> a gram. <laughs> uh, a lot of festivals are hurting these days. And here's an article about the troubled Greenwood Balloon and Music Fest. Who would want to go to a troubled balloon and music fest? That's a good point. I'd rather attend the confused and conflicted Cantaloupe Carnival. Or any number of those dusty and redundant Renaissance fairs. Yeah, yeah, fair with an, an E at the end for earthy. <coughs> well, they are going to continue the Highland Games, though. This year they're going to feature a tribute to Haggis McMuffin, oh. the bagpiper whose bag unexpectedly up and killed him. Did it blow the man down? <laughs> no. It was a fungal infection. Oh, my God. Similar to uh, pigeon fancier's lung. I see. That's why I ate all my pigeons. Well, before his death, he said he had no plans to stop blowing his beloved instrument. He said, I can there's more risk in crossing the road. Well, sure. <laughs> if he's playing the pipes in the construction zone, he could be mowed down by a Mexican food truck. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the pieces, Angus, and get ready to blow. Yeah, you want Here comes the bus. You want to go to McDonald's? No, no, no. Let's go to the Thistle in the Kilt. They serve real Scottish food. Uh, yeah. There's no such thing, laddie. Yeah, you're right. All, All Scottish, Scottish foods, foods are there. Hey. Boomers on a Bench is based on actual and factual freshly broken news. It's all re re real, folks.